conferences, piles of flyers, getting stuck on endless email lists, never-ending calls. There's an easier way to sort through and find the best school fundraisers. School Zone Podcast proudly presents the 10 Top School Fundraising Ideas for 2017, a guide of top fundraising companies hand-picked from the best podcasts. As an added bonus, it lists five awesome resource companies that would add tremendous value to your school and students. A guide to 10 top fundraising companies and five resource companies. And we're giving the guide away for free. That's right, for free. Ready to simplify the search? Download the free guide at schoolzonepodcast.com. Welcome to School Zone School Fundraising Ideas Podcast. We interview top fundraising and resource companies to help you find a solution to your next school fundraising or school resource need. Are you ready to simplify the search? Now, here's your host, Matt Miller. Hello, School Zone Podcast listeners. Matt Miller here, San Jose, California, yet again. I'm here with Catherine Holdforth of JK Naturals. Catherine, thanks for being here this morning. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me, Matt. That's... Yeah, so tell us a little bit about JK Naturals and you and founder and CEO. I mean, that that's a big deal. That's cool. <laughs> Thanks. So JK Naturals is uh, personal care products for the whole family. We make 100% natural, organic, truly clean ingredients products. And we have a whole new line of tween and teens because there's no real clean products for them out there on the market and so I have two boys and saw a need for it so um, our biggest seller is the deodorants so what were you doing previous and what got what got you here on a beautiful Saturday morning so I've made natural products for about 20 years wow I, everything that I've made, it's served a purpose in my life, a need in my life, whether for me personally or for my family. And so in 2006, I started JK Naturals just before I found out I was pregnant with my second son. So it kind of took a little, it was put on hold for a little bit. And then, so I, I was making pregnant belly butter when I was pregnant. I was making diaper rash cream when they were born um, and just my line just continued like that and then um, when my oldest son who's now 14 when he turned eight he was smelling a little bit funky so I thought well I make products I'm definitely making you a deodorant I need to know what's in it for him to and it has to be effective right so in 2010 I started making these cream deodorants and I was selling them at the local farmers markets and surprisingly people loved them and were buying them and and thought they were great and I had a few customers that came back and said this is great but could you put it in a stick for the convenience of it so I thought yeah I'll just throw in some waxes and we'll be done but then it wasn't infective anymore <clears throat> so I set to work and it took me a year to formulate the sticks so that they were super effective so I have the creams and the sticks and then there are two different formulas but they're both super effective and so anyway, I continued on this path and because I live in that space where my kids, you know, going through puberty and needed, you know, acne starts showing up. So then I started making something for acne and a facial wash and, and then just decided this makes sense to be able to offer this to other parents because if I'm looking for it, I'm sure other people are looking for it too. Uh, long story short to answer your question my kids come home from school with some fundraisers and I thought you know this is my target market I should be helping other families provide you know by providing them with clean products for their kids and for the rest of the family so it's kind of a no-brainer to then look into being here at the PTA com conference so. so do you have like a chemical chemist kind of background or have you just kind of self-taught that's awesome yeah it started mid 90s my best friend housemate was making um like an arnica salve she had a little company too so i was intrigued by that and i asked my friend do you think you could ask her if i could watch her do that 
And so, of course, she said yes, and I went over and helped her, and I just just fell in love with the whole idea of taking herbs and natural ingredients and making them into a purposeful product that you can use. And I just got a whole bunch of books and st started making things and trial and error and learning and learning and learning. And, you know, eventually it's kind of like, you know, when you first start cooking in the kitchen, you're not very good, right? But if you really love what you're doing, eventually you'd make some really fabulous meals. And that's kind of how I relate it to it. Just love making personal care body products. And um, I hope, I, I think I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> so what were you doing in that time between, you know, 06 when you kind of started this whole thing and, and today were you just, is, was this just kind of a, a home-based business where you were yep. just going to farmers markets and stuff yep. just to make some extra money or do you have an online presence any of that in the yep. interim as well or we have a website jknaturals.com but yeah I was started at the farmers market so I was invited to a local one in San Ramon and then there was interest in, in my product line and so I was invited to sell at Whole Foods just the local one at San Ramon and then I went to other stores. I, I reached out to the other um, team leaders. And so I got into six more Whole Foods stores. And then a year ago, they did a category refresh. So then they included me. I'm in 27 or 28 Whole Foods stores in Northern California, Nevada region. Awesome. Yeah. So it's kind of expanding. Um, yeah. So... How long then have you been working in the school space, or is this just kind of your first jump off into that? Um, I've been do I did a couple of fundraisers, local fundraisers, one high school and then a, a private school in in Walnut Creek, and another one lined up in San Francisco, and then it just made sense to come here because I would be in direct contact with people who made decisions about their fundraisers. You know, I've been in the industry for about a decade. Uh, my company, School Spirit Vending, is a couple of aisles over. And uh, we started at a PTA conference in February of 08. <clears throat> Similar to you, uh -huh. just trying this idea out to see what would happen. And out of that event, not kn not having a clue really what we were doing, right. we, we got 10 schools. And that That's was the springboard terrific. to where today we're in about 42 states we're in thousands of schools wow. we've got a franchise team of over 100 people <gasps> and it all started at a pta conference like this That's so I, I love to get a chance to talk to folks like you mm -hmm. because being an entrepreneur myself i love that story right because we all have a story exactly. right and so many out there i think think that oh well Catherine just rolled out of bed one day and, and was successful. No, there's a no. lot that goes into oh it. Gosh, yeah. There's a lot of struggle. There's yeah. a lot of heartache. There's a lot of risk. You know, there's I call a lot it of a roller coaster ride. Yeah. You have one day where it's like, woohoo, and then the next day, oh my God, should I shut my doors? <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. But what's cool is this is not something you just came up with. You've been doing this for oh, years. For years. You're now just taking your expertise from, exactly. from there and bringing it and lending it to the school environment. Right. And that is so cool to me. So talk a little bit about the program itself in relation to schools. How does it work? Um, how do you interact with the schools? That type of thing. Sure, yeah. So we have various forms on how orders can be made. We have a catalog with the traditional order form. Um, we also have, and, and each school gets a kit. It's a binder. And uh, it includes, we even write all the emails. They don't have, it's very few volunteer hours. So we write the emails, they just have to personalize it. We give them a timeline, when to send out this email, when to send out that email. And we, we offer flyers to post around the school and on their um, newsletters. And so then there's the catalog order form. Then they can also order online um, on our website, jknaturals.com. And, well, it's jknaturals.com forward slash fundraisers. And then they would order from that page and put in their code that we give them for their school. And then also we're beta testers for a brand new company called Alana Enabled. And we also have sheets of our, like a sheet of paper with our 
product and beside it's a QR code. So let's say one of the students wants to go to their next door neighbor or their grandmother's house to, to help sell the products. The neighbor would then take their phone, they'd scan the QR code and it would go directly to PayPal and they get to put in their credit card on their own phone and it's almost, it's a checkout, right? right. And the student doesn't have to deal with any of the money and they put in the, uh, the, the school's code and the school gets credited. And then when all the orders are in, so it's two weeks of ordering and then two weeks to fif uh, for us to fulfill the orders and we prepackage everything so they don't have to worry about sometimes you get a, a box of things and they have to assemble who gets what we've we we manage all of that and it, it gets delivered to the school and then they just have to tell people okay your order's here to pick up so yeah that's awesome We're trying to make it so simple because I'm a mom too and I help at the school and so the least amount of volunteer hours you're asking other people, the better because everyone's so busy right now, right, in life. And so minimal volunteer hours is good, I think. Well, and what I love too is the fact that you're bringing something new to this space. Mm -hmm. You know, having been here for a decade, you know, there, I, there well, there's innovation. Right. But to have something new, because so many of the schools, they, they go back to the same thing over and over again. Right. And, and folks get tired of it, number one. But number two, some of it is not necessarily the best for the kids, right. et cetera. Right. So, so to have something that's all natural and, and has been formulated specifically for your kids, right? right I think it's huge, especially in the whole direction that our society is going today. Etc. So that's really, really neat. Yeah, thanks. I was hoping so because, like I said, my kids came home with fundraisers from the school. And as much as I love C's candy, like who doesn't love C's candy? There's only so much you can, you know, it's like, oh, again? Uh, I mean, you buy it because you want to support the school. But I'm hoping that with our products, these are some, they're personal care products. They're things that you're going to buy for your family anyway. Hopefully you want to choose things that are clean, the ingredients that are clean, and then you get to support the school at the same time. So I'm, I'm hoping people see that. Very, very cool. So if I want to come back, you know, I order one time, I love the product. Do I have the ability to come back and reorder and use that code and, and all that? No, or? we didn't think that part through that's that potentially that might I think that would be a great idea to do that so the school continues to benefit well yeah, yeah. and so so that yeah. you keep customers that, exactly. that love your product coming yeah. back yeah they can always order on our website anyway but yeah I like that idea awesome yeah. so is there anything else you'd like to share with the with the audience about your background or you know any of that stuff I just have a real well, I obviously have a real love for my family. And so this is where this, I think, the love of making these products comes through because when I'm making them, I'm essentially making them for my family. And I, I, I want other moms and dads to feel confident and trust that, that it's really good stuff. I know that I'm in this space, so I know there's a lot of uh, products to choose from, and I also am fully aware that, you know, marketing at the front of a lot of labels, things say all natural, because it's trendy, right? Let's face it. Um, and then I read the ingredients. I invite everyone to please turn their products around and read the ingredient deck, because it's not always true. <laughs> you know, for instance, mm, propylene glycol, if, some, if a product says, contains no propylene glycol. Propylene glycol is also called 11 other things. So, and then I turn the, the, the label around and I read that it's um, propandial, which is another name for propylene glycol, and it's the first or second ingredient. So it's very maddening to me. I find it offensive when, when companies do that. So I want it to be different. I wanted people to know that it's truly clean. I'm using it and making it for my kids. So, right. Yeah. Basically, you come to my house, you're going to have a good meal at my table. You're also going to get some good products. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Very, very cool. Well, guys, uh, Catherine Holdforth here of JK Naturals. You need to check out what she and her company are doing. 
Uh, go to jknaturals.com for more information forward slash fundraising, right? If they want to get more of the fundraising side That's of things. That's the site where they would order. This okay. Order. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Catherine, thank you for coming by the school zone. And I hope you have a great rest of the weekend here in San Jose. Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you. Thanks for listening to the School Zone's School Fundraising Ideas Podcast and for simplifying the search. Be sure to subscribe to the show so you don't miss an episode. When you do, please leave us a five-star review in iTunes or your podcast player of choice. Have a company you'd like Matt to feature on the School Zone Podcast? Have a fundraising question you'd love to get answered? Send a voice message to Matt. We would love to hear from you. Visit SchoolZonePodcast.com and click on the Ask Matt a Question button on the bottom right of the page. Simply record, listen, and send. It's that easy. Ask Matt a Question on SchoolZonePodcast.com.